The bells of Southwark Cathedral, ringing to celebrate the life of a literary hero. A man whose books have been selling for nearly 200 years. There's a human being writing these books that you feel that you're in his presence. The ordinary people of England felt that Dickens was writing for them. And I think that's gone on being true. He was a rock star. He was a rock star. He was the most famous man in the world. The characters created by Charles Dickens are now part of our culture. But what kind of man was he? Born in 1812, he began his career as a journalist and social campaigner. But it was through his novels, The Pickwick Papers, Oliver Twist, A Christmas Carol, David Copperfield, that he became famous and could use his fame to change the world around him. He took up the cause of the disadvantaged from his very earliest writings as a journalist and then, uh, as of course, uh, in his novels. Uh, he was always speaking for the oppressed. He was always trying to heal society. He wrote about it with such passion and compassion because of his own experience as a boy. Dickens was born into a comfortable middle-class family. And as a child, he loved books and reading. But in 1823, his father got into debt, and Dickens found out for himself what it was like to be poor and disadvantaged. The family were locked up in Marchalsea Prison, and 12-year-old Charles was sent out to work. He found himself in a blacking factory by the River Thames, working 12 hours a day putting labels on bottles of shoe polish. Dickens never forgot these experiences, and through his novels he showed the dark side of 19th century society. Every day he would walk for miles through the streets of London, and he wrote about what he saw. The huge houses of the rich, and the terrible conditions that the poor lived in. At the heart of it all is this massive compassion and this massive feeling of uh, combating injustice and it's shocking to report of course that many of his uh, targets are still with us you know we, 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 we still have this ridiculous discrepancy between the rich and the poor people still feel as people did in his time that Charles Dickens speaks for us there's no one in the whole of human history that I would rather meet than Charles Dickens